What's going on YouTube and welcome back on Common Sense Family Clan. Y'all know what it is. Safety first, safety first. Check out all the blind spots before we get ready to head on out. Y'all know what it is. Y'all know what you came here for. We're about to get into another mobile ride along. Already? Good. I got something fresh and new. New to me. I don't hear much talk about it right now. Which is good for me, you know, because <laughs> I'm common sense, right? Right. Let's go ahead and get into it for those who have not heard of it, not seen it. Off top, I get a berry like freshness. Today's video. Nope. Ice. This is a newer release for 2020. Every single day. I haven't met a Yelp I don't like yet. So, I was excited to give this one a shot for those who have not heard of it, not seen it. Mm. Off top, I get a berry like freshness and kind of like a gin and tonic type of feel. I wonder if it's juniper in here. I get something a little woodsy in the background. does have that very clean, fresh aesthetic, so I'm wondering if it's lavender in there as well. It's hard to pin it down, though. I also get some hint of citrus. It does have a brightness about it, which, of course, I like, because those are usually going to be fragrances that are mood lifters in a way, especially on the cold, gray days in Chicago. Man, it's barely 32 degrees today. Snow flurries. The waves on the lake are like just crashing all up the shore. So, you know, you know what that means. <laughs> the Windy City being the Windy City. Yelp has never disappointed me. I usually do not rock with flankers, usually because I feel like they're a cash grab. Sometimes we'll go with the intense or something like that. Something a little orange peely about it. Get a little bit of that citrus zest. It's not overly sweet in the opening. Those are my initial impressions and what I smell. In the top, we have notes of In the mid, we have notes of And in the bass, we have notes of I can see me probably wearing this more on casual situations. I can wear this to work. I'm wearing it to work today. I am detecting subtle hints of the original Yolk DNA, but in a bluer, fresher take. With some added citrus. This is very interesting that citrus is in this composition. It just could be that I'm not used to smelling citrus along with this. So let's hop into our peas, shall we? Rice. I saw this one going for about 30 bucks at some of the rack stores. And I'm interested because the newer release, I'm wondering why and how. This one kind of almost went straight to DVD. <laughs> but great for me because I like to smell great and not break the bank, if at all possible. Place, where can I wear this to? Where would I wear this to? To work, casual wear, I don't see it necessarily as a 
romantic fragrance, but to a social event, whatever that looks like these days. Season. The cooler temperatures, maybe fall, winter-ish. Even though it's a blue frag, I don't know if I would wear this in the summertime. I usually wear my fragrances anytime I freaking feel like it. It's pleasant. It's very pleasant. Now, as far as projection, I don't smell a lot of it coming off of my skin. I sprayed about eight sprays across the chest area. And I am kind of bundled up. It's cold. <laughs> yeah. We'll have to update you on projection and performance. I usually don't have any lasting issues out of yoke. Fragrances usually stick and hang around with me throughout the day. Good measure. Top it up. Y'all know we don't come in contact with nobody these days. I enjoy this fragrance. I'm liking smelling it on my skin. It's a little spicy about it now. I'm sure that some of the, the original DNA, probably cinnamon. The sweetness is toned down a little bit. It's like a fresh woody spicy. That's kind of typical of what fragrances we get as men. It's like our range. It's like our go-to. And that's one thing about men's fragrances that has me considering unisex fragrances and fragrances marketed toward women because there's so much more of a range available. <laughs> but somehow men have been pigeonholed into something like woods, spice, woods and spices, or, you know, there's more things that we would like to smell like, some of us anyway. So this is why I actually like fragrance journey or fragrance hunting. Things that are marketed toward a specific gender or it's marketed toward a specific market may work on me. It may be a fragrance that's marketed toward a younger crowd. However, it may work on me. Or one marketed toward an older crowd. It may work better on me. So, that's why I don't cut my nose off to spite my face. I really don't care who a fragrance is marketed toward. I'm on common sense. And that's what I'm usually looking for. A scent that is not common. Something that's a little different. Off the beaten path. Ultimately, something that smells good and that I enjoy that does not break the bank, that performs, you know, has to tick all of these boxes. Most times we're in search of something that we've not smelled before. Because if I've smelled it before, why do I need you to recreate that? Unless you come along and update it somehow, whether it's better performance, better price, better longevity, better packaging. That's going to conclude the first leg of our journey. Got a lot said about this in a short amount of time. Now the presentation of this one, I did like that presentation is very stately kind of looks like an award of sorts like the JD Power and Associates Award kind of like that thick glass and it's like an ice blue fitting of the name and the fragrance right Hi. huge bottle four ounces I'm already over the moon with that all right y'all I will talk to you soon and we out many hours later I'm back at you again with a little bit of an update. Already four hours in. I washed my hands twice and it's still hanging in there with me. I'm guessing it'll probably last about eight total. You know me, I tuck in and I can smell it, right? It's not a projection monster. It sits kind of close. Maybe about eight or nine inches from my immediate. It's lasting though. She rated about a seven in projection. We're gonna rate it a eight in performance. I'm going to rate the presentation at eight as well. Price, I'm gonna rate it a 10 in price because like I said, I saw it about for about $30 for four ounces. That's a 10 to me, but completely. Especially since it shares the original DNA of Yo with the added, what smells like citrus, lavender, and the juniper berry. Play, no compliments. I think I'm in the office alone today. Which again, I don't have a problem with because I can really focus and open up all these official documents scan them in for my team to process so got my mask nip out also no funny business is it a cop or a drop for me it's gonna be a complete cop for me yes i already bought the full bottle anyway i just didn't want y'all to know all the time so i did catch it it put it here also because i didn't want to carry the full bottle with me all right I 
I ended up paying $25 for four ounces. A complete W. Dope to me. Dope. My allergies are kicking my butt. I'm not sneezing too. My goodness. My eyes are watering. <sighs> What's happening? I'm becoming allergic to work. That's going to do it for a Yelp Ice Review. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. To top side saying, oh, 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 all the way around. <laughs> and underneath. Just in your man on common sense. And I'm out. Till next time. I'm a regular plant day. I go on to my babies. This was actually sent to me from a coworker. She wanted me to take care of it. Cause it wasn't doing well. I got it back on track. Right here, it had broke off and was just like really, really dry and brittle. But you see, it's been rebred. It's all strong and stuff. This one, I'm gonna prune this one. Yeah, it just need to prune it. Turn that one. The VP in IT brought this. Was doing well with my plants, and she figured I could do help over her. So she brought it on over. You know, this bad boy right here. It's just doing its thing. I have something living. All right, y'all. I'm actually about to go on lunch for a change. I just realized my allergies probably flaring up because I'm in a building. Heat ain't been ran in such a long time. Listen to your body. Your body will tell you everything you won't need. It'll let you know when something ain't right. Listen to your body, y'all.